Well, I made a big mistake. <laughs> I walked into Best Buy in Yuma to buy a camera lens. I want to get uh, wider angle shots at night so I can do some astrophotography. <laughs> and uh, while I was there, a young man named Ernie, I don't remember yet a title on his name tag, some type of manager anyway, struck up a conversation with me and we got talking about photography and different things and uh, next thing you know I walked out of there with a, with a little mini drone for doing photography and uh, you know uh, every once in a while it's a pleasure to do business with certain people just have a knack you know uh, anyway Best Buy in Yuma is lucky to have an employee like Ernie that's for sure but anyway he wanted me to buy the package that had the controller you know, I was convinced I would be much happier with it. It was a couple hundred bucks less just to go with the one that I could control with my phone. So uh, I had to make this video to prove to him that it worked fine for me. <laughs> but anyway, uh, hey, thanks, thanks, Ernie. Uh, but we're in uh, an area that lends itself to kind of drone, you know, get a look around uh, from a drone. Uh, because we are out in a remote area, pretty remote area anyway, of the desert. And the, uh, it's a BLM land, but it's a little different in that it's what they call a long-term visitor area. And so you can stay more than 14 days, but you do have to buy a permit. So it does cost something where uh, other BLM land is, is free, but you're limited to 14 days. But with the cost of the permit, which amounts to like three dollars a day, something like that order, uh, you get access to dump stations, um, dumpsters, and uh, potable water. Uh, but where that's located, you know, all of this strikes me as being a bit post-apocalyptic. Uh, you know, there's hundreds of RVs up around the area where the water is and another another uh, uh, group of them down to the south of us of maybe 30 or 40 something in that order um, but we like it where we're kind of alone but this year our spot that we did manage to get again which is a fantastic spot if you ask me uh, you know the the view out our windows is of the mountains uh, between here and the Colorado River and so it's uh, you know we don't have to shut the curtain we don't have any other RVs within our line of sight out the front uh, but there are three other people camped here which is is different than it was last year there was nobody in this area but when I did talk to the permit people they were saying that there's a lot more people here this year so I think the number of people living this lifestyle <laughs> probably hasn't peaked just yet uh, but it's got to be getting close because Terry and I are kind of tail end baby boomers, you know, um, in there. But anyway, here's uh, some drone shots and, uh, uh, you know, just different things about the area that we're in here uh, so that you can kind of see where we're situated. Anyway, thanks for watching us uh, do an automatic follow on. Okay, you ready? I want it. Look, 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 walk, isn't I'm trying to follow this drone thing. Keep going so I can get you both in it without falling over something. 